Taking a live look tonight at New York City and One World Trade Center, where on Saturday people will pause to remember the September 11th attacks. And in Louisville, a special exhibit at the Public Library features a collection of photographs taken the day of and in the aftermath of September 11th. As part of the opening tonight, people who were in New York City during that time shared their first-hand experiences. Among them, longtime WHAS 11 anchor Melissa Swan, who covered Ground Zero. She reflects back on that time with 19 photojournalist Alyssa Newton. It is really hard to believe it's been 20 years and yet it seems like it's been a lot less than 20 years. We will never forget the images of that morning. Both towers have been hit by planes now. September 11th. And when you see these images here at the library, it brings it all flooding back. It is one of those events, and this one a horrible event, that we know exactly where we were, what we were doing, when we knew the United States was under attack. When I was there in New York, I, I just saw people come together. Everyone was suffering and trying to love each other through it. The compassion and, and the love that we all had for each other in those days was really remarkable. What we have discovered since September 11th is that there's almost nothing that's too terrible to believe these days. In New York City, Melissa Swan, WHAS 11 News. Now that exhibit will be on display until November 14th at the main library on York Street. ABC will also have special coverage this weekend to mark the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Tomorrow, there will be two specials starting at 9 p.m. David Muir interviews survivors and family members of loved ones lost that day. And on Saturday morning, the special 9-11, 20 years later, America Remembers begins at 8 following a special edition of GMA. It all airs right here on WHAS 11.